So I've made this video a few times because I get so angry about this. And the Card Strike stuff today is all over the internet and all over the world. And I'm watching people who are trusted as knowledgeable security professionals struggle to explain basic concepts like a channel file. And that worries me. It's supposed to be in a weird place because I'm looking at the CrowdStrike stuff and it feels like people who should be able to explain it are not able to. And I'm wondering, is my bar for them too high? Let's figure it out. First and foremost, CrowdStrike is a, let's just call them a security company. That's what they claim to be. So they do automated security. Uh, think of them as anti-cheat for security. They do the same stuff that games do, and they go out of their way to inject system drivers that watch everything you do. And, you know, if you're doing something malicious or bad or going to a website that you shouldn't be, the operating system is supposed to be able to protect itself using that 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 kernel level anti cheat. And obviously, this is overly generic and very generalized and not exactly explicit. But I'm making it easy and simple for you. Now, the problem here is the channel file. I just watched a individual who calls himself a security researcher struggle to define what a Channel file was, and that makes me wonder how good his DevOps is. Makes me wonder if he's ever done release management. It makes me wonder the actual experience of people who call themselves security researchers. But I digress. So what exactly is a channel file? First and foremost, we have to go back to the fact that these are for-profit companies and they have sales and marketing, right? That's important because that helps define what a actual channel file is. You see, these companies, especially the large ones, large enterprise companies, tend to group their customers in different channels. Okay, we're getting there. The fact is, you have all these different customers, they all have different products, they all have different lines of revenue, channels of revenue. And so as a result of that, They've gone out of their way to say, okay, fine. When we do an update, it goes on this sales channel, which is linked to this update channel, which then feeds these update channel files. That is what a channel file is. And so this is part of something called release management. Most software development engineers, they write the code, they do the QA, they get to a point where they can release and their job is done. They feel like they can take their vacation now because the project's done. And then in a couple of weeks, they'll go back and they'll start a new project. Or maybe they'll go in the next day after a nice weekend and start another project. Our cycle as software development engineers tends to have a blind spot here, unless you're doing DevOps or you've done startups like I have. I've done both. And so as a result of that, I am fully aware of sales channels and channel updates because I've had to release them myself as well as I've worked with some very talented release management professionals who a lot of people just think of as PMs and they're not PMs. They're actually more DevOps style people and they kind of merge the PM and DevOps focus in order to assure that the updates go out to customers correctly. Unfortunately, a lot of companies when they want to chase full automation, such as continuous integration with continuous delivery, they might actually have a update channel that is fully released, fully automated, and maybe their CI CD fails. Maybe they don't have it. Maybe something happened and somebody just pushes a button that they shouldn't. That's probably what happened here. At the end of the day, CrowdStrike failed. They, their release team didn't do their job. Their QA team didn't do their job. And the developer who didn't do his job should be fired. And I say that knowing full well that I've had bad days, but this was untenable. This is unmistakably bad. And so if you're worried about, you know, this channel file and it's affecting you today, start 
thinking about all the money it's costing you and then talk to your legal team uh, because this was incompetence. It was what lawyers call gross negligence, in my opinion. The fact is, it shouldn't have happened. And the, the veterinary clinics that are losing pets and the hospitals that are losing patients because of it, I'm sorry. And if you're out there trying to catch a flight and you can't get a flight because it's delayed because the booking system can't sync with the main core hub, then, well, at least you're not in the air. That's actually a blessing.